luck with that. Now, making headlines today are government plans to attempt to increase social mobility. They want to break down the pattern that has seen top jobs dominated by those from privileged backgrounds. Gordon Brown says he plans to unleash a wave of social mobility, adding, I believe in an aspirational Britain. Lawyers, doctors and bankers will be ordered to be less elitist by taking fewer middle class recruits. Um, do you think this move is actually necessary? Do you think class is still an issue today? I do. I, I honestly do. And I think it is an issue. And I think it's, it's a good thing to encourage people to inspire. And I, I, I think that if this can move, move the class system out, then great. But I, when I was growing up, it was very apparent um, because... I was confused. I sort of still am, really. I, I, we were looked on because my dad was a policeman, and I suppose we, you know, we had nice-ish things. You know, I went to a school in, in quite a, quite a rundown area, um, but I, I connect with. I had always, always have had friends from all walks of life. I don't mm. care what they've got, what their parents do, where they live. I'm not bothered about that. It's about the person. However, when I was growing up, it was made sort of clear to me, I suppose, because we, th you do tend to stay in groups, mm. don't you, at school? So would you um, say when you were younger, you were more aware of the class system I as it maybe was I think people used to look then. on us, yes, as, as maybe we were middle class. But what does that mean? I don't know. But yeah. I think it's to do with money and what you've got and how big your house is, quite frankly, I which is a wrong... <laughs> I think the class system's changed completely from when, Do when you? I was a In kid. What way? I, I don't actually think we have a class system. I think we're fairly classless now. I think it's more to do with how much money you've got. Whereas when I was a kid, um, I, I came from a very working class area, South Yorkshire. My family were all either miners or some steel workers, a lot of railway workers. My dad was on the railways, my mum. Um, and there was a kind of pride about it, actually. And, and the working class people that I knew were very aspirational in that they wanted to be better educated. We had a thing called night school that, you know, all, a lot of my, my parents certainly and a lot of their friends and family members went to night school. There was a thing called the Working Men's Association where you could go and better yourself, educate yourself. And, mm -hmm. and a lot of working class people wanted to do that and did. And, and there was a whole culture around being working class. There was music that was special to us. And, and it, was, it was lovely. And I, I don't think that exists now. I think so we've got you, poor. So what would you people. say about someone? Well, yeah, so somebody who you know work, works in a in a factory in, yeah. a, in a manual job and lives in a council house. Would you not say well, that? Well, I don't think there are, are there are no council houses and very few factories. I mean, manufacturing industry was was decimated as we all but know. But there are a lot of poor sure. people, and I there mean, are I, people, I went, but they're not I necessarily working class just because yeah, they're poor. Well, no, but well, well, you see, this is the grey area, isn't it? Because yeah. I'm not quite sure because. I work, work, do some work for Charity Children North East and I was horrified to see that the North East, where I'm from obviously, has the highest rate of child poverty in this country. Mm -hmm. Now I would consider where those people live in those conditions are, are still working class. Mm -hmm. It's interesting though because Tim, um, now obviously he has, has done well as an actor and, and we, have a, you know, a, we have a nice house, but he still maintains that he's working class. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. just says that no matter what, you know, if he had a trillion pounds, he would still maintain his working class roots and that's who he sees. I think that, that he, that's that, quite that a that northern is. thing as well though, because no, in, in, in Scotland, mm -hmm. you know, my family very proudly come from working class background. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud to say my, you know, my granddad worked on the ships, my, my granny worked in the canteen serving the, you know, the men yeah. who, who worked on the ships. Yeah, manufacturing going on. North yeah, yeah, but yeah, there was see. a real pride in what you in what you did. Mm, mm, um, exactly. I think the, what we're talking about now in terms of a class system is we're not necessarily... I, th I agree with you, Leslie. I think it's more to do with, with money, and there are people yeah. now who... And we're not encouraging trades anymore. We're not encouraging yeah. us to do apprenticeships exactly. and, and be proud of what you're doing. Go to university. Mm. And I think what Gordon Brown, just going back to, the, to what we came off at the top of the show, I think that, you know, as you say, aspiration is wonderful and, and, and to inspire people and to give them the same opportunities yes. as, 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 as sort of middle-class but uh, people. But at mm. the same time, I don't there th therefore think it's fair on the middle class people if they are as qualified for the job yep. to be pushed aside purely because somebody from the But I don't get this thing of, about, about uh, middle class children uh, being more likely to get the top jobs. I don't understand that because I, I just know because my nephews have been going for, for job after job recently and, and friends mm. of mine whose kids have qualified and they're all getting really good degrees. But, but what sorts them out is the ones that are determined, the ones that, mm. that really want the work, the ones that are able to still push themselves forward. And I think that's, that's, there's nothing class 
driven and, and think, about that. It's before, about the individual. When you used to talk about you know different classes, a lot of it was to do with what the different jobs were that say the mm. man of the house had, <clears> and a lot of that you know we're talking about manual labour or, or, or what have you or trades. Um, but nowadays, I don't think it is to do with that. A lot of the children who are going to private schools, their their parents are what we would lorry call people who were yeah plumbers. lorry drivers, plumbers, yeah. builders, yeah, or taxi mix. drivers, what mm -hmm. have you, and. I think that's a good thing because it means then that children whose parents come from a whole diverse mm. range, you'll get kids whose dad's a plumber mixing with kids whose oh, dad's absolutely. a barrister, yeah. but everybody's trying to push their children forward and give them the best possible start in and life. It doesn't good. matter where you come it, from as point. long as you're it trying matter. to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think as long as people you know, get the chance to do that and push their children yes, forward, then they should allow the opportunities thing. if they want to. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Not do that. Okay. Uh, time